What's up guys, welcome to your fourth JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change variables and use variables and equations. So let's go ahead and start out with a variable. Remember to declare your variable, you type the variable and then type whatever you want to name it. I'll name mine a name and I'll set the value equal to Tony. And just as a refresher Whenever you want to output on screen, you could use it as an alert and say, if we saved it just like that and looked at it, it would output Tony right on the screen. But what if you're typing along and you decided that you want to have a new value for the variable name? Well, since you already declared it, you don't need to type this var again since you already did it you just have to type name and you set it equal to whatever else you want I'll set mine equal to Bob now since JavaScript is reading top to bottom it says alright we got a variable name name and it's equal to Tony so now I'm gonna spit that out and then it said down here it says alright now this guy wants us to change the variable name to Bob so from here on out the variable name is gonna have the value of Bob so let's alert this just to see what it looks like so right now as you can see I'll save this and at first it says Tony before it gets to the change and then we press OK and the JavaScript goes on and then it gets the value of Bob and then we told it to output it on the screen so let me walk you through this one last time we first declared a variable and we set it equal to Tony and then we said alright JavaScript we have a variable Tony output it on the screen and then it said alright now we decided to change it to Bob so since the variable now has the value of Bob why don't you output that on the screen and that's how you can change a variable's value just by later on using the same instance of the variable but giving it a new value now let's get rid of all this and let me guys teach you one more thing in this tutorial how you can also use variables in variables so say we have a variable name num1 stands for number one I'll set it equal to 30 and then we have another variable named num2 I'll set this equal to 80 we can actually include the variables in a variable so I'll make a variable called answer and I'll set it to answer equals the variable 1 plus the variable 2 so now this answer has the value of 110 and just to show you guys I'll make an alert box and I will alert the answer as you can see when I save it it now has the value 110 and as you can see anytime you want to change any of these numbers so say I'll change this to 330 this automatically changes this value right here and it should change this value down here as well so let me save this as you can see not only did it change that one variable but it changed the whole instance of this too so now the answer is equal to 330 plus 80 and this is just to show you guys how you can use variables in equations for another variable now I'll try to make this clear things up later on and in the next tutorial I'm going to be talking about how you can actually get information from the user and it's a lot more useful than just typing numbers in your computer because right now we can pretty much just do this in your calculator so in the next section I'm going to be teaching you the first kind of useful thing that you can do with JavaScript. Thanks.